In this part, we will be discussing mass relationships in a chemical reaction. So stoichiometry, this is the study of the quantitative relationships between the reactants and products in a chemical reaction. So during the first part of our lecture, I actually said that stoichiometry is the very heart of chemistry. Why is that so? Because it answers the questions how much product will be formed from specific amounts of reactants and how much of the reactants must be used to obtain a certain amount of product. I think that is self-explanatory, no? So basically, the um, purpose of stoichiometry is to let you know ilang reactants ang kailangan mo, how many grams of these set of reactants would you need to form this set of products, and how many products will be formed if you have that set of amounts. So in this part, I'm going to teach you how to calculate no, involving chemical reactions. So calculating amount of reactants and products, we use the mole method. So in the mole method, the stoichiometric coefficients in a balanced chemical equation is interpreted as the number of moles of each substances. So as I've mentioned during our previous lecture, if this is your hypothetical uh, chemical reaction, the small letters pertain to your coefficients. And your coefficients, your coefficients, they correspond to the number of moles. So say, for example, you have this reaction. You have one mole of nitrogen. Bakit po one mole? Pag wala pong nakalagay na coefficient, automatic, that is one. So combining with or reacting with three moles of hydrogen will form or will yield or produce two moles of ammonia gas. Now, if you're going to talk about the molar ratios and you're going to relate the number of moles of each compound, this is how it's going to look like. So if the reaction a while ago is this one, okay, let me write that here. If you're asked to relate the number of moles of ammonia to the number of moles of nitrogen, that would be 2 is to 1, 2 over 1. Kasi 2 yung coefficient ni ammonia dito, tapos 1 lang yung coefficient ni nitrogen. If you're asked to relate the number of moles of hydrogen to the number of moles of ammonia, that would be 3 over 2. So because uh, the coefficient of hydrogen here is 3 and the coefficient of ammonia is 2. And if you're asked to relate the number of moles of nitrogen to the number of moles of hydrogen, that would be 1 is to 3. Why is that so? Kasi ang coefficient ni nitrogen dito ay 1 at si hydrogen ay 3, kaya it's 1 over 3. So, napakadali, di ba? So, basically, when we, bega when we began our lesson, I actually taught you a conversion factor. And that conversion factor is 1 mole of any substance is equal to its molecular mass or molecular weight in grams. This time, I'm going to teach you another conversion factor, and that is the mole-to-mole -mole conversion factor. Later, I will teach you how to use these two conversion factors when we solve for stoichiometric problems. Okay, let's try the concept of molar ratios. So in this reaction, you have 2 moles of butane reacting with 13 moles of oxygen to form 8 moles of carbon dioxide and 10 moles of water. So show the following molar ratios. So what is the relationship of the uh, mo number of moles of butane to oxygen? That would be 2 moles of your butane over 13 moles of your oxygen. By the way, the shortcut for moles is mole, and that's the abbreviation for your mole unit. How about the um, molar ratio of oxygen to carbon dioxide? So, si oxygen, ang kanyang coefficient ay 13. So, this will be, I'll write it here, 13 moles of oxygen how many moles of carbon dioxide? 8 ang coefficient, so 8 moles of carbon dioxide.
Next, oxygen and water. So, oxygen again is 13 moles of oxygen. San po galing yung 13? Dito po sa coefficient. Over how many moles of water? Ito po, 10. So, 10 moles of water. The next one, butane to carbon dioxide. Okay. So, I'll write the answer here. So, ang molar ratio nila, 2 kay butane. So, 2 moles. Ayan. Let me fix that. Okay. So, 2 moles of butane. And how many moles of your carbon dioxide? 8, kasi 8 yung coefficient niya. 8 moles of carbon dioxide. Now, class, basically, this molar ratios is this conversion factor, the mole to mole. So, later, as we go further down the slides, I will teach you how to use it. Okay. So, let's have a stoichiometry sample problem. So, say for example, you have this reaction. So, this is a decomposition reaction. You have potassium chlorate decomposing to potassium chloride and oxygen. The first rule, the number one rule in solving stoichiometric problems is to check if the equation is balanced. That is why it is very important to practice on balancing chemical reactions. Kasi pag mali yung pagkabalance natin, magiging mali na rin lahat yung sagot natin. So bago natin basahin itong question natin, the first thing that we need to do is to check first if the equation is balanced. So we have sample problem number one. The reaction is potassium chlorate decomposing to potassium chloride and oxygen. So, as I've mentioned during our previous uh, lecture, the first step in balancing is to enumerate first the elements in both sides of the equation. So, here on the reactant side, you have potassium, chlorine, and oxygen. Tapos, pagtapatin ninyo, no, para hindi nakakalito, dito, potassium, then chlorine, and oxygen. After enumerating the elements, the next step will be counting the number of atoms. Okay, so let's count the number of atoms in the reactant side. So this is your reactant side and this is your product side. Ayan, huwag kalimutan yun ha. So potassium here, how many atoms? Walang, uh, walang subscript, so automatic one lang. Si chlorine, ilan lang din? One lang din. Si oxygen, tatlo. Bakit siya tatlo? Kasi three yung kanyang subscript. The subscript corresponds to the number of Atoms. Next, at the product side, you only have one atom of potassium, one atom of chlorine, and two moles of oxygen. So as you can see, the equation is not balanced. Therefore, we cannot solve the problem because the equation is not balanced. So as you can see, um, potassium and chlorine uh, on the reactant side and the product side, pareha silang may one atom each, no? So, balance sila. So, ang hindi lang balance dito ay si oxygen. So, how will you balance oxygen? At the reactant side, tatlo yung oxygen atom. Sa product side, dalawa lang. How will you balance that? Yung tatlo, hindi mo pwedeng bawasan yan para gawin mong dalawa. So, the only way to balance is to multiply it with a whole number. So, if I multiply this by 3 and I multiply this by 2, this becomes 6. Now, class, kung ano po yung number na pinang-multiply natin, so, ang pinang-multiply natin na number ay 2, ilalagay po natin siya as a coefficient. So, hindi mo yan ilalagay dito sa gitna. Mali yun, no? Kasi, isang buong compound sila. Therefore, ilalagay mo siya doon sa ilalagay mo siya as a coefficient of the whole compound. Dito naman, pinang-multiply natin ay 3. So, sa oxygen tayo nag-multiply, ilalagay natin dito. Ayan. So, now class, this is balanced already. However, since naglagay ka dito ng coefficient na 2, what happens is you distribute the whole number. So, 2 times 1 atom of chlorine. So, times 2, that would be 2. And 2 times... Uh, sorry, that was potassium. This time, 2 times 1 atom of chlorine 
times 2, this will be 2. So how will you make this, uh, these atoms equal to the number of atoms at the reactant side? Multiply it by 2 as well. So pag times natin yan sa 2, this will be equal to 2. So kung ano yung pinang multiply ninyo, yun yung coefficient. So, ilalagay natin siya dito. So, class, this is the balance chemical equation. Once you have balanced the chemical reaction or the chemical equation, it's time now to solve. So, magsosolve lang kayo kapag nakapagbalanse na kayo. So, let's write that down here again. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to approach any of us, your teachers, and we'll be more than happy no, to answer them. So in this problem, you are asked how many moles of oxygen are produced by the decomposition of 6 moles of potassium chlorate. So read the problem again. How many moles of oxygen are produced by the decomposition of 6 moles of potassium chlorate? So, ang tinatanong sa'yo, ang hinahanap sa atin dito, class, is ito. Moles of oxygen. Ang, big, ang given sa problem is meron ka daw 6 moles of this compound, of potassium chlorate. So, the question is, ilang moles ng oxygen ang maproproduce mo kung initially... Ayan. Kung initially, meron kang 6 moles of potassium chlorate. Now class, recall, before we, uh, uh, when we started the lesson, I gave you two conversion factors. The first conversion factor is 1 mole of any substance is equal to molecular mass in grams. And the second conversion factor is mole of any compound is equal to the mole of any compound. Now class, whenever you solve chemical problems, para lang kayong nagsasagot ng isa puzzle, no? It's about starting with a unit and arriving with another unit. So, ang mahalagang gawin, the first step you do whenever you solve problems, is tingnan ninyo kung ano yung given sa inyo sa problem. Ang binigay sa atin sa problem is 6 mole. After that, tingnan ninyo kung ano unit yung pinahahanap sa inyo. So, from mole, you need to go to mole. So, between these two conversion factors, anong conversion factor dyan yung galing ka ng mole, papunta ka rin to mole? This one. This second conversion factor. Therefore, you're going to use this conversion factor. So, paano ginagamit yung conversion factor na yan? Whenever you use this mole-to-mole -mole conversion factor, you always refer to the balance chemical equation. Okay? So, you use this when you want to uh, get the mole of one compound. You want to convert the mole of one compound to another compound. Ito kasing una, ginagamit mo ito pag parehas yung compound. So, kunwari, mole ni A, dapat molecular mass din ni A. Itong pangalawa, pwedeng mole ni A, i-convert mo siya to mole ni B. And that is exactly what the problem is looking for. Mole ni potassium chloride, which is mole ni A natin, i-convert mo daw siya to another mole, which is mole ni oxygen, which is your compound B. Now, how do you use this conversion factor? Okay, let's answer the problem now. Now, class, as I've mentioned a while ago, whenever you use this conversion factor, you always refer to the chemical equation. So, sino ang tinitingnan mo sa chemical equation? Yung coefficients. So, therefore, kung galing ka ng potassium chlorate, mole ni potassium chlorate, papunta ka daw sa mole ni oxygen, what is the coefficient of potassium chlorate? It's 2. So, 2 moles of potassium chlorate. Dito, 3 moles of oxygen. This class is your conversion factor. Now, you can solve the problem now kasi meron ka ng conversion factor. So, how do you solve the problem? 
you always start with the given. So, ano yung numerical value na binigay sa inyo sa problem? Ito, 6 moles. Kaninong mole yan? Kay potassium chlorate. So, we start by writing 6 moles of potassium chlorate. Parenthesis, sa loob ng parenthesis yung ating conversion factor. Ganun lagi. So, ang usapan dito ay sino ang nasa numerator at sino ang nasa denominator. Kung kaninong compound yung nandito, siya yung nasa denominator. Bakit po? Para mag-cancel. Kung anong unit yung nandito at anong compound, sila yung nasa baba para mag-cancel. So, we write here 2 moles of potassium chlorate sa taas 3 moles of oxygen. Dapat yung nasa numerator mo is yung hinahanap mong unit. So, this will cancel out. So, 6 times 3 divided by 2, 18 divided by 2 is 9. So, the answer is 9 moles of oxygen. So, that means... If you have 6 moles of oxygen in a decomposition reaction, you will produce 9 moles of oxygen. Ayan. So, it's also here. It's a TV at that. No? Just use the conversion factors I gave you. Now, how do you convert from mole to mass? See, for example, referring to the same reaction, you are asked now, what is the mass of potassium chlorate needed to produce 2.5 moles of oxygen. So, what is the mass of potassium chlorate needed to produce 2.5 moles of oxygen? Let's write down the reaction again. So, the reaction, the balanced chemical equation is 2 moles of potassium chlorate will yield 2 moles of potassium chloride and 3 moles of oxygen. So, this class is the balanced chemical uh, Equation. So this time around, okay. So this time around, you are asked, what is the mass of potassium chlorate? So ang nawawala this time is this one. Ang inahanap niya sa yo ay mass. And what is the unit of mass? It is grams. Ayan. So what is the mass of potassium chlorate needed to produce 2.5 moles of oxygen? So ang given sa yo sa problem is 2.5 moles of oxygen. Sa Tagalog. Gano'ng kadaming potassium chlorate ang kailangan mo para makapag-produce ka ng 2.5 moles of oxygen? Class, whenever we solve problems like this, you'll, you just have to choose between the two conversion factors I gave you. One mole of a substance is equal to its molecular mass or molecular weight in grams or mole of a substance is equal to the mole of another substance. So, ano yung sabi ko? Whenever you solve problems like this, ang una natin ginagawa ay tinitingnan natin kung ano ba yung given sa atin. Ang binigay sa atin na yung binigay sa problem is this one. 2.5 moles of your oxygen. Ang is kung ilan yung grams ng ating potassium chlorate. Now, class, between the two conversion factors, sino dito yung may mole to gram? Obviously, this one. However, it's not that easy. Okay, remember this. You use this conversion factor if you have the same compound. See, for example, mole ni A, i-convert mo lang siya to grams ni mole ni A. The second conversion factor, you use this if you want to, to jump from one compound to another. Parang yung kanina. Mol ni A papunta sa mol ni B. If you recall the problem we answered a while ago, mol ni A, which is potassium chlorate, we want to convert to mol ni B. So, in this problem, you are asked to convert from mol to gram. You might think, ah, I'm going to use this first one. However, it's not that easy. Uh, it's not that straightforward. Why? Kasi magkaiba sila ng compound. Technically, this is compound A and this is compound B. So, wala tayong mole to gram na A to B. Ang meron tayo is mole ni A papunta sa mole ni B. So, paano ang strategy whenever you do problems like this? Okay. The first thing that you, you do whenever you encounter problems like this is write the unit that was given in the problem. So, yung given sa atin sa problem, ang unit niya is mole. So, let's say, 
uh, oxygen is compound B. So, mole B. Now, class, how do you go from mole B to gram E? How do you do that? Wala tayong straightforward, di ba? Dapat, kung mole ni B, kung ito ang gagamitin ninyo, itong umpisa, dapat kung mole ni B, dapat gram din ni B. Eh, hindi naman yan ang scenario dito sa problem. Ang scenario dito sa problem, mole B going to gram A, which is potassium chlorate. So, now class, if you're going to look at these two conversion factors, ano yung common unit naman sila? The common unit that they have is mole. So, from mole B, what you can do is convert it to mole A. Kasi kapag nakuha mo na yung mole ni A, pwede mo nang makuha yung gram ni A. Bakit? Parehas na sila ng compound. So, mole A, from mole A, you can get gram A. As easy as that. From mole B, you jump to mole A and then to gram A. Now, change this uh, B and A's into the corresponding uh, compound. So, si mole B natin ay si oxygen. So, mole B is oxygen. So, we write here, mole of oxygen. Mole A is potassium chlorate. Our compound A is called potassium chlorate. So, change that into potassium chlorate. Change that to potassium chlorate. And then potassium chlorate. Now, class, the next thing that you need to do, one plot na ninyo, or you're going to go from one unit to another unit, write the conversion factors. So, here, from mole of oxygen to mole ni potassium chlorate, what conversion factor will you use? This one, mole to mole. It's evident, to mole to mole. So, we write here, mole of oxygen is equal to mole of potassium chlorate. Again, whenever we use the mole to mole, um, mole to mole conversion factor, we look into the coefficients of the balanced chemical equation. So, what is the coefficient of mole of oxygen here? It is 3. So, you write here 3. Next, the coefficient of potassium chlorate is 2, so we write here 2. So this is your first conversion factor. We write here 1. Next, from mole to gram, what conversion factor will you use? This is the same compound, ha? Huh? Take note, it is the same compound. So we have here mole to gram. Okay, so the second conversion factor is... Kapag ginamit natin yung mole to gram, it is always one mole, ha? So, one mole, one mole of potassium chlorate is equal to its molecular weight in grams. Now, in order to get the molecular weight, you're going to need your periodic table. So, if you still haven't mastered how to get the molecular weight of the periodic table, please watch how to get or the molecular weight. So, all you have to do here is compute for the molecular weight. Okay, just a minute. I'm computing for it. Okay, so the molecular mass of potassium chlorate is 122.55 grams. So, these are your conversion factors. Pag meron ka ng conversion factors, you can now solve. So, how do you start solving? You always start with the given. So, the given here is 2.5 moles of which compound? Oxygen. You do not forget the compound, okay? So, let's start solving. We write here 2.50 moles of oxygen. The first parenthesis will contain your first conversion factor, which is this one. The question is, sino ang nasa numerator at sino ang nasa denominator? So, mole ni oxygen yung nandito. So, dapat sa baba, mole din ni oxygen. So, we write here, 3 moles of oxygen. Sa taas, sa numerator, we have 2 moles of potassium chloride. I sorry, potassium chlorate. Okay, this will cancel and this will cancel out. The second parenthesis will contain your second conversion factor. Okay, this will contain your second conversion factor. So, sino ang nasa numerator at sino ang nasa denominator? Ang nasa numerator, I see grams. 
122.55 grams. Sa denominator is 1 mole ni potassium chlorate. Why? Kasi mole ni potassium chlorate yung nandito, we need to cancel that. And in order to cancel that, dapat nasa baba yung mole ni potassium chlorate. So if you input that in your calculator, the answer will be 204 grams of potassium chlorate. So in order to produce 2.50 moles of this oxygen, you need 204 grams of your potassium chlorate. It's easy. It's easy. <laughs> Medyo ano lang siya. It, so, besides, it's kind of tricky because it's